I am meteorologist Michelle Muscatelli. I want to give you a quick update about Henri this morning. Uh, it was downgraded to a tropical storm, but that's not going to change the impacts for us. Uh, the winds sustain now at 70 miles per hour instead of 75. This is still a, a potent storm system that's going to bring wind heavy rain and storm surge potential for our area as it approaches Block Island and then moves over looks like southern Rhode Island during the afternoon hours on that path. We are going to be uh, seeing some high impacts around here. The storm slows down. It weakens quickly once it moves over land and we do expect it to finally push offshore as we head through Monday night and Tuesday. Bands of rain, damaging wind gusts already arriving and conditions expected to deteriorate through the day. So far, peak wind gusts have been around 52 miles per hour for Block Island, 40 uh, for Point Judith, rather 49 on Block Island and gusting over 40 in the upper part of the bay at Quonset Point as well. Peak wind gusts today, 50 to 70 miles per hour. We are expecting the threat of some wind damage. This is the noontime forecast. At that point, Henri expecting to be making landfall and can continuing to weaken as it moves in rain gusty winds continuing into tonight as far as how much rain we could see two to four inches across Rhode Island with higher amounts heading west of the storm. We're also concerned about the storm surge risk as a storm surge warning continues. The first high tide happening right now and we've got a second high tide this evening that we're concerned about storm surge right now. The timing for landfall does bring it in near low tide and that could be some good news for our coastal residents. The height of the storm this afternoon right around the midday hours with rain and wind lingering this evening. We're going to be keeping you updated as the storm continues to make its way towards New England's coastline with more details right here on WPRI.com.